Good evening. Welcome back to my channel where I like to practice being a YouTuber. I receive a lot of comments every day about what it is exactly that's on top of my snare drum. Rather it be these waterfalls. Maybe it's a particular splash symbol you want to know about. Or maybe it's one of those K stacks. I'm gonna be honest with you, there is no super smart technical musical decision that goes on deciding what I'm gonna put on top of my snare. I'm gonna place my cowbell two inches below the snare drum rim, just so it can apply the right amount of pressure for optimized rebound efficiency. Oh. Nah, I usually just come in here and find the first thing I see that's laying around, and I go, huh, I wonder what that's gonna sound like. <laughs> Naturally, some of that shit don't work at all. I'm talking absolutely useless, and you'll see more on that later. But even so, just by adding one new thing to your setup, it kind of opens you up to, to play new ideas. You know what, as a matter of fact, pause the video. I want you to try this. I want you to pause the video, go to your kitchen right now, if you're a drummer, and grab a cup. Put the cup on your snare drum, and see what you can come up with with the cup groove. Make sure it's a plastic cup, not a glass cup. I can guarantee you that you'll probably play something that you never played before, be because there's a, there's a cup on your snare drum. A cup belongs in the kitchen. It doesn't belong on the snare drum, but the cup will kind of force you to be like, hey, 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 let's come up with something, baby. And boom! Look, I know that sounds ridiculous, but it doesn't actually have to be a cup. You know, it can be a splash cymbal, a cowbell, and some other things we're gonna get into in this video, all right? Let's get into it. Hey, hey, come here real quick. I wanna tell you something. <laughs> oh! Number one, the wallet. The wallet. Now, I know this one's a bit obvious because who who hasn't used the wallet to mute their snare sound? But I actually did a poll the other day on the YouTube community asking drummers, you know, have you ever used the wallet to dampen your snare sound? I was actually pretty surprised at how many people said that they'd never done that. So I figured I'd include it in the video. But please be aware, as this video progresses, um, these methods will get a bit more ridiculous. Some of these I've never even tried, and we're gonna find out for the first time together if they actually work, or if they suck! So yeah, the wallet is usually used to dampen the snare sound. Very similar to moon gel. This guy, I gotta get some new moon gel. I think that's a pubic hair. Here's what the snare drum sounds like open, with no wallet. Now here's what it sounds like with the wallet on. You kind of have to be careful though, because the wallet can bring a little bit too much muffling on the snare drum. I mean, who wants a dead snare drum? A dead snare drum, no booties moving, all right? Trust me. I used to use this method a lot back in school because I was doing a lot of gigs playing jazz. So I never really had to worry about my wallet being too thick. Oh, and another good alternative to your wallet is your phone. Some people like to use their phones and those people are crackheads. <laughs> Number two, cowbell. Are you sick of playing the same groove every day, day in and day out? I know, it sucks sometimes. You just feel like you can't be that creative. Darn it! Well, introducing the newest instrument in the entire world, the cowbell. Just pop this baby on your snare drum and replace those little ghosty boys, those little ghost notes. Replace one or two of those ghost notes and play them on the cowbell and see what happens. Oh, we're not done yet. You want to know the cowbell's little sister? The wood block. I mean, I know it's not really wooden. It's like made out of plastic or something. But still, put this bad boy on your snare drum and do the same thing.
Now that same groove you've been playing all week is gonna turn into an entirely different groove. I mean, not that different, but you, you know what I'm saying. Wow, thanks Cowbell, I love you. Number three, Jingles and Nuts. Jingles and Nuts. Accessories. Now this particular method is one that I use a lot. This is the black fiberglass Waterfall by Minel. And no, I'm not that bougie. It was the only option in the music store at the time. But because these nuts are so big, <laughs> I kind of like to have half of it hanging off of the snare drum because if you do it all, it's just way too much muffling for, for me. When you strike the drum, the attack, it just sounds so natural to me. Like the way the nuts kind of bounce after you strike the drum and you get that very quiet delay effect. I love it. And it's not as much muffling as the wallet. Now, if you don't want to spend $100 for this, yes, seriously, $100. I, what am I doing with my life? Another thing I use a lot, maybe when I forget my waterfalls, is my car keys. It has the same effect, but just more. It sounds like some damn keys. Now this is something that the good people over at Stack Ring Percussion sent me. This is the brass chain gate. And recently, as in for this video, I put it on top of my snare drum just to see what it sounded like. And I kind of liked it. I could see myself using this in certain situations. Another thing I've never used on my snare drum was this guy. Another thing by Stack Ring Percussion, and I'll be honest with you, I don't even know what this is called. I usually use it as um, a part of my stack because although I don't know what it is, I love the way it sounds. But I'm gonna be real with you, a, a lot of these things barely add any difference to your snare sound. If they do, then it's very subtle, but subtlety matters a lot in, in music, especially in the right context, I think. I don't know, I'm just a drummer. Number four, broken sh Unacceptable. Number five, more snare wires. Snare wires. Now you might be asking yourself, Zach, what the hell is wrong with you? Well, hey, hey, I'm gonna ask you the same question. What the hell is wrong with me? <laughs> now I will admit this is something I've never tried and I never really planned on trying it anyways and my dog is creeping in. Mingus, say what's up. He loves attention. Look at him. All right, you gotta get out. One of you guys suggested I try this in a Discord server, which is free by the way. Go ahead and join the Discord if you're into that kind of thing. So yeah, I went to the music store and I bought me four of these guys. Um, I don't know how I'm gonna approach this because as most of you know, the, the reason why the drum has a snare wire is so it gives us that rattle sound, that snare sound that we all love. And obviously when you turn off the uh, snare wires, you get this sound. Now it's just like a tom. But since this is for science, we're gonna try this three different ways, right? You see this lonely guy right here? I'm gonna give him three bad girls. I'm gonna stack them on like that and see what it sounds like. And then I'll try to put them on like this, right? Like, uh, uh, ah. This is dumb. And then for the final way, we're gonna put them all on top of a snare drum and see what kind of grooves we can come up with, with that kind of um texture. How am I supposed to do this? I need R. David R.
Wow! All right, let's see how it sounds. Trash. Experiment failed. And there you have it. We have the ultimate snare drum. All right, let's g <laughs> All right, let's give it a try. sound kind of weird but I kind of really like the response I'm getting from the top head it's like it's so sensitive and really easy to dig in there or really really satisfying to dig in there it's it's like yeah it's like I'm playing a concert snare drum well it certainly doesn't sound like that it just if that response I'm getting it's just so satisfying But please don't try this. There are many other ways to achieve that great feeling. And last but not least, the top head. Wow, does somebody already do this? Because I might actually start incorporating, maybe not all three, but at least one snare wire on, on my batter head. Because you know, who's to say you can't, you can't put a snare wire on your batter head. Number six, rubber chicken. Now, when I see these things, I always think of my boy's cock over at EMC Productions. Bro, this guy, he actually went on America's Got Talent and dressed up as a huge chicken man. This is Mr. Cocky. Mr. Cocky. <laughs> That's some legendary status to me, so I figured I would include it in this video just so I can honor Eric. I fucking love you, man. Yeah, I gotta give props to Eric, man. This thing's actually kinda hard to play. Would I ever use it on a gig? Um, hell yeah! Number seven. Tape. Just kidding. Everybody already knows what tape can do. It's very similar to what Moon Gel does and people have been using it for years. But have you ever heard of liquid tape, um, spray? Liquid tape? Look at this. Neither have I. This is tape in the form of liquid. Basically, what you do is you spray it, and after it dries, it's electrical tape. But what would happen if we sprayed an entire drum head with this stuff? Absolutely soaking it. I wonder what kind of sound it would produce. Would it be the same as, as normal tape? I have no idea how that's gonna work. This is so stupid. I'm about to find out right now. Right now. Right now. <gasps> Alright, let's see how it sounds like on the um, snare drum.
All right, so now as you can see, it's actually got kind of a, a nice look to it. We have uh, put on the liquid tape snare drum. I'm not, I'm not too thrilled about this, man. I just, I'm just not really, you'll see. I'll be honest, I'm not too thrilled about this. I mean, it just sounds too too normal. It sounds like a regular ass snare drum. I don't know, experiment failed. I'm depressed now. Well, I guess now I'll tune it really low and see if we can get a, a nice fat sound. Because you never know, this might be like a, a good side snare. Like that. Let's turn it off. It sounds like uh, another Tom. Hey, if you ever forget to bring an extra Tom, just go ahead and put some liquid tape on your main snare drum, tune it down, and you can you have the best of both worlds, baby. All in all, terrible experiment. Probably never happening again. I mean, you can get the same thing with a normal snare drum, just not the extra steps. And the, res the response I'm getting from the snare drum is, it's kind of doo-doo. Number eight. Fish. Alright guys, that's gonna be it for the video. I hope you got some ideas to try or things not to try. <laughs> Thanks for watching the video. I'm gonna kiss you. Hello. Which fish sounds the best? Oh, yeah.